Hey again, it's Jason from Fraser Valley Rose Farm and today I got an unpleasant surprise when I went to get this pot for a customer and found that there were ants all over the floor of the greenhouse. And in fact, there were ants crawling up into the pot, making their little tunnels in there and of course making the plant unsaleable for my customer. So I have to take care of them. Now normally I would give a pretty live and let live uh, attitude towards ants. Uh, they can be associated with aphids a little bit so they can spread those around your garden. But normally I don't bother with them much but now they're affecting my living. So I'm gonna give you some close-ups of how bad the problem is and then I'm gonna take you step by step how I get rid of them. Well if this don't make your skin crawl I don't know what will. If you can see up close here that they're, they've fully colonized the bottom of this pot here and you can even see them sort of hauling around their little uh, eggs within there so they've definitely colonized this pot completely. So that'll give me the heebie-jeebies. I need to get these guys gone. You may already have heard that borax kills ants but let me show you how to make into a trap that will kill both the adults and the babies in the colony. And you start by using, I'm using a sour cream container here, by just zipping a couple of holes in it. So that the ants can access the poison. Mix three teaspoons of sugar, I've already put in two to one teaspoon of borax. I'm doing a rather small trap here, so I'm not mixing it in large quantities, but the ratio remains the same. It's three of sugar to one of borax, and then some warm water to help dissolve it. I'm just gonna stir that around here. Now, adult ants will eat liquid. The babies eat solid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both into this trap. For the solid portion, I'm just using this instant waffle. And then for the liquid, I'm going to pour that over and just let it dissolve into the solid portion. Now there's runoff too. that's going into the bottom of this container. And the adults will eat that liquid, but also and the hope is that they will take this solid portion here and bring crumbs of that back to the colony and feed that to the young, and the young will feed that to the queen, and then that wipes out the whole colony. All right, let me put the cover on and I will place this trap. Well, there you go. So this has only been down for about a day and they've definitely found it. You can see that the side of that waffle, they've pulled off a chunk there and they're starting to divvy that out and carry it back to the colony. But there's a whole ton of ants in here. So I'm hoping that does it. I like having it in a container like this because that way I can keep it away from non-target insects and just put it exactly where I believe this colony is. But the next step is to see if it does its work because I don't just want to kill the ones that end up in the trap here. I want them to carry back the, the liquid and also the solids to the colony and wipe out the rest of the ants. So I'll leave this to run its course for a couple of days and then I will check the bottoms of those pots again. Now for the results. This is day four, so four days after application. Uh, on the second day I went back and I added just a little more of the sugar and borax solution because they had eaten it all up. But even by then, ant activity around the area was way, way down. I went back today to look. There's no more activity of ants on the floor of the greenhouse in that area. And here's the pot, which as you may remember, was just crawling with ants. And now you can see that there's really no sign of the ants, even though the signs of their tunneling is still present there. There's no longer any sign of the ants themselves. So I'm gonna call this one a victory. And I can sell this pot now. All right, thanks for watching. I hope that gives you some idea of how you can deal with ants in your garden if you need to get rid of them. And if you have any questions about that or any other garden pest, uh, maybe drop that in the comments below the video and I'll see if I can help.